Welcome. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about uploading and zettings. What I'll do is I'll upload a couple different format file formats, and then I'll show you the different ways you can delete and move and reorder your slides. In addition, I'll talk about the logistics around file size and videos embedded into your PowerPoint slides. So great. Now, to start, what you see is a blank seating. Now, if I want to add content to the seating, I can choose the Add Content button at the top or this big plus sign right here. So let's click on the plus sign. You'll see it brings us into our Add Content page. So we have all these different types of content that we can add to our seating, but since we're talking about uploads, let's stick with uploading a PowerPoint and PDF. So you just click on Upload, and then you'll see a drop-down menu to choose from the different areas where your files live. So let's choose this intro templates PDF that I have right here and open it. And then you'll see that the percentage of its completion is right there and you'll also see that it's pretty quick. Typically it takes anywhere from about 30 seconds to, depending on the file size, three minutes. Now talking about the file size, the maximum file size is 128 megabytes but if the deck is too large, you can always split it into two and then upload those two separately. Great, so how quick was that? All of the slides have been uploaded and you can see they look beautiful and they're ready to roll. Great, so now we've uploaded a PDF. Now I wanna go back into the add content and I'm gonna upload a PowerPoint. The thing that's unique about this PowerPoint is I have a bunch of animations in this. So let's go ahead and open it. If you're working in PowerPoint and you have animations, don't worry, they will render over. If your PowerPoint has transitions to slides, those actually do not work. So get rid of the transitions, but keep the animations. Additionally, if you have video that's embedded into your PowerPoint slides, Just go into the animations and set it to autoplay so that as you progress to that slide in CDs, the video will automatically start. Great, so this is uploading. And one really great thing about ZDings is you can actually go in and add content while your slides are uploading. So you can multitask. Now let's create a poll. Do you like ZDings? Great, so you can see that while that deck is getting ready, I've created a poll, and additionally, let's move this slide. So you just click that box on the top right, and you can choose to move it. So I wanna move it to position four, right there, and you'll see it'll automatically fly there. Great, so once you've moved that, it goes into position, or you can actually just drag and drop. Let's put that back though. Additionally, you can move multiple slides. Let's move it to position five. Oops, five. And you'll see that those all just moved right in front of position five. Great. Now you'll see down here that our PowerPoint is ready to roll. So let's actually click on it and take a look at the animations. So look at how beautiful that works. Pretty seamlessly, actually. Let's click to the next slide. And there you go. So have no fear if you love your animations. Great, so going back to the tile view, again, you can move slides or you can actually delete slides. If these aren't relevant, I might just delete them. And it's as simple as that. If you wanna keep them, just click the undo and boom, they show up right then and there. Now let's take a look at our slides. So I added these intro templates. One thing that I highly recommend for any, Z any Zedings users, specifically presenters, is that you do a really good intro into Zedings. So for example, I'm showing this slide and most people in an audience will join from their phone, their mobile device, so we show the image of a phone. And then here it'll give the um, the action, so what you can do there. You can follow along with the slides and vote in live polls, and then you have your URL here, so your presentation link. 
And then you can go to the next slide, which shows the speech bubble, which allows you to post questions and comments. And then additionally, just to show them more information and the URL, you can show another slide. Keep in mind that these slides we actually do create and have in-house. So if you would like a copy, just email hello at zedings.com and request a copy of all of our intro templates. Now that has been the lesson on uploading in Zedings and we really encourage you if you have any questions to look at our other Zedings videos and tutorials and we'll see you next time.